Hey everyone, it's Rick. Today I'm going to use AI. If there's an app called Imagine, download the app and then you ask it what you want to create and it'll draw out an image for you. So I'm just going to have it create a landscape for me here. Uh, let me type it in real quick and then I'll uh, show you what I type and I'll hit it. So I'm going to say I want a mountain. Uh, mountain with a, a stream I'll put a river mountain with the river and uh, trees in the foreground I kind of want a big tree in the foreground if it'll do it mountain with the river Mountain with the river trees in the foreground. So let's see what it generates for us. If it's a good one, I'll uh, sketch it in there with the uh, burnt umber. That's kind of cool. It's a big, big mountain, but I like it. All right. So I'm going to use that. Believe it or not, is uh, an idea. So let me sketch it out real quick. It's just an idea, a way you can, if you run out of landscape ideas, you can use this app to uh, help you design. Well, it's got the mountain way up there, so not much sky. So what I'm going to do is uh, lower it down just a little. This mountain has just pretty big <laughs> it's got a big mountain up here in the front then it's got distant mountains back here I'm just gonna lay it out real quick and then do it in my style so I kind of like the river so it's got uh, some trees coming down here and then the lands coming up here Oops, I grabbed some green by mistake. Uh, the river's coming from back here. Out the side here, all oh, this is river. Land here, we got distant trees coming over here. And we got the big trees on either side in the foreground and grass down here with some rocks and dirt. We'll put a few rocks in here. With uh... All right, there's the layout. Pretty cool. It, you can play around with this app. It's kind of cool and uh, I don't really like that mountain, but we'll just use it. So let's get started. I'm going to start with my sky. And I got some very light blue. I'm using acrylic paint now if you're new to the channel. I just used the Liquitex Basics Acrylic, okay? And if you use my techniques, you'll, you'll get a, a decent looking uh, landscape out of it. Right now, I'm just going to pretty much do all my underpaint all the way from the sky down. Uh, I got a little bit darker blue I put up here. I think it's phthalo blue I put at the top. And uh, I'll keep the light blue down at the horizon. In fact, I'm going to grab a little white lighten it up a bit more down here titanium white around the mountain I want the sky a little lighter that's all all right rinse my brush off there's the sky that's pretty good pretty good sky can blend it in if you want. 
just uh, clean your brush off and then wipe it off and get a nice blend on it so that you get the paint nice and even. You can add some different colors up there if you want. This other blue I got is kind of like a purplish color so you can you can add different colors up there if you want. So these distant mountains I'm going to lighten them up a bit with uh, a light gray. I have Payne's gray so in the AI image it had uh, some distant mountains back there. I'll put them in uh, light gray. I'm using water in a can as a, to dilute my paint down a little. Like I said, this is going to all be the underpaint. I'm going to actually use Payne's Gray now. Uh, and uh, paint in the mountain peaks here. To get this big mountain put in. Straight Payne's Gray, and I'm going to put some color on top of it, okay? Get a bunch of peaks going up in there. Look at that. It's already taking shape. I'm going to try and get this done as fast as I can. Uh, because I don't know how much uh, space I have on my iPad. I should have did this live, I think. That would have been kind of cool. So down here at the bottom of my mountain in here, I didn't notice what color it had. I know all this was green in here, so I'm going to make this uh, raw sienna I mix some raw sienna and yellow and I'm gonna have the base of my mountain uh, really light like a golden color under the mountain here this is still all my underpaint so just laying in the basic colors right now Good, I like that color. It'll give the painting some other color besides gray, blue, and green. So, this green over here, I'm going to have the light coming from the right. So, I'm going to make this one, uh, this side, uh, I have some medium green and a dark green. So, I'm going to just put this in with uh, my medium green color. And I'll probably darken it up a bit. So, basically what I'm going to do is try and get all my color in, uh, the underpaint, and then we'll start putting in some trees, and some running water, some clouds, put some snow on the mountain. This green, I didn't use it right out of the tube. I mixed some yellow in it, so I don't like to use the colors just like right out of the tube. I, I like to mix uh, some other color in it. Like this green I'm going to use here uh, was a light green, but I actually put a little more, I put a little white in it to lighten it up even more. So we'll have some grass over here. And I remember this down here was brown. So I have some raw umber. We'll put some dirt down in this area next to the water. I'm going to move my water out of the way. 
so yeah if you got a an iPhone or a smartphone uh, download that app it's called imagine and uh, you can tell it you know what kind of landscape you want it's free you can also I, I do it for free it lets me do you know three or four images a day but there's also you they have one where you can uh, pay a monthly fee and then you can use it as much as you want you know I'm gonna darken my green up down here a little bit all right there's there's all the landscape let me throw some water in here I'm gonna rinse my brush off so I don't get any green in there I'm gonna use blue and gray I have that blue that has it's called violet blue light black violet blue I'm gonna put a little Payne's gray in it so the water is a little darker and let's just put in our river here I did a, a landscape the other day on that imagine and I I put a uh, a landscape mountains with snow and trees and a stream and I said a UFO <laughs> they put a UFO in the uh, image for me I thought that was funny all right so here's our water let me get all this water put in and then uh, I can start putting in some trees and bushes and stuff I'm just using a, a regular, uh, a, this is uh, Filbert number 10. This is a 16 by 20, so. It's a big, pretty big painting, so you can use a larger brush to get your layout, all your underpaint in with a larger brush. All right, there's our water. Our water's in. Near the end of the painting, I'll take some white and uh, actually maybe bring it the white from back here around and into the, the water so it looks like the river's coming from way, way back there. All right, so I said I wanted some rocks and the scene down here so I'm going to use some Payne's gray here and uh, put a few rocks down here get a big one down here in the front and I'll show you how to do these rocks uh, they're pretty similar to like the mountain okay Put a small one back here. All right, we got some rocks there. Let's go ahead and do the snow and then I'll do the clouds. I'm going to get a filbert brush at number uh, six. Put some snow up there now. This is one of my better, these are pretty decent uh, paint brushes here. So I think I wanted the snow on the light on the left today. So I'm going to put, start on the left side of my peaks up here and Put a little bit of snow on the left side of each peak. Just to get started to see what it looks like. 
just a little bit of snow. <clears throat> Let me make sure the camera's working right. Zoom it in a little more. I got the mic way over here, so I'll try and talk loud. So I'm going to shape my mountains now with some more white. It'll give the mountain some shape. Wherever you put this white now, you can almost see the mountain has dimension now. You see? Uh, I'm using a better white now. It's uh, I moved up. The white that I'm using is not Liquitex because the Liquitex would soak into the gray color, uh, the cheaper white. So this is a better, better quality of paint that I'm using. Uh, this white okay it shouldn't it shouldn't fade away like uh, the Liquitex white does when I use Liquitex white I have to always come back and redo all the white because it it soaks into the gray but this white it's pretty good I think I want this mountain to a Turn a little up here. Like that. This one too. A little, little more. So you can design your mountain with this, the white. Okay, now all this dark stuff. I'm going to mix some blue and a little gray. Uh... to make the, uh, I call it the shady side of the mountain, okay? This is like, it's almost almost a bluish gray, but you, you can also leave this color if you'd like, but I like to put, actually paint the uh, shadow side. And I come up right next to my white and pull this color to the right. It's almost like using a knife. I, I usually use a knife when I do this, but if, if you're a beginner, uh, it's, it's good to start out by using a brush, okay, to do your mountains. Unless you already know how to use a knife, there's nothing wrong with using a brush on your uh, mountains. You get a different look with with the knife, okay? But it still looks, it still comes out looking good. So I'm going to leave some of this dark gray in there because I kind of like that color. So I might just come down part way on that one and leave it dark in there. I'll probably leave that one dark. So you, you don't have to cover all your gray up either. You can kind of like that. Looks good. Let's see how it looks like in the camera. Wow, that's pretty good for. Uh, we're running at 20 minutes, and uh, we already got a mountain, we got all our groundwork done, we got a river, we got an idea for a river, I'll go ahead and put that white in so you can kind of see what I mean. It'll make it look like uh, the river's coming from way back there, once I'm done with all this here. I kind of like that golden color in there. I'm going to take a little white at the bottom. 
sometimes I'm wetting my brush too to uh, get uh, the paint to move a little better on the canvas, okay? This is just titanium white here that I'm kind of mixing in at the bottom of the mountain to create some like hills back there just a little to bring it into that golden color very good now let's do some clouds now I'm going to do the clouds a little different today I'm going to pretty much kind of be really free with the clouds uh, I'll probably have them run up from here up at an angle so but I'm not gonna make them uh, I'm not gonna make them like uh, round and fluffy what I'm gonna do is just kind of paint the color in today like this okay real loose just get the the, the idea of a cloud up in there okay start over here and then kind of brush in your clouds today, okay? Real loose. I want them to look like free, okay? Just like that. Now, if you put small ones down here, it'll help make those clouds that'll look further away if they're smaller down here at the bottom okay all right that's enough uh, clouds there now I'm gonna take a little bit of uh, my gray a light gray and put some gray in at the bottom of these clouds okay it's going to make it look like a shadow, okay? Just a light, light gray at the bottom of the cloud. Okay, just like that. Look at that. That's an easy way to do clouds.